Welcome to the Exhale Podcast, a candid conversation about current matters relating to respiratory diagnostic and lung health. Today's hosts are Mark Russell, Marketing Communications Manager and Troy Pridgen, Executive Vice President of Sales and Operations for Vitalgraph in North America, a global leader in respiratory diagnostics. Today, we spoke to Annika Haynes. She's a nursing student who's had cystic fibrosis since she was six weeks old. Tricapta, developed by Vertex Pharmaceuticals, was first approved by the FDA on October 21st of 2019. This treatment is a triple combination regimen for cystic fibrosis patients starting at age two and older who've had at least one F508DEL mutation in the cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator gene or a mutation in the CFTR gene that is responsive to Trikafta based on in vitro data. Well, Annika, welcome to our podcast. Thank you so much for having me. Please give us a little background on yourself while you're here today. So my name is Annika Haynes. I am a freshman at Washburn University, and I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis at six weeks old. So basically been living with it my entire life. Wow. What are you majoring in there at Washburn? My major is nursing, and my hope is to work with children looking to do NICU or oncology. That's awesome. Being in healthcare for the last 25 years, we definitely need more healthcare providers, and there's always a need for more nurses that are out there. Yeah, I could say that for sure. My brother is uh, a nurse over at uh, University of Missouri, so uh, we, we look forward to you having a, a long and productive career. I think we're here today, though, to talk about Trikafta. Uh, can you tell us what, what Trikafta is? So Trikafta is a fixed dose combination medication used to treat people like myself with cystic fibrosis. And it's composed of an ibucaftor, chloride channel opener, and alexacaftor and tezacaftor modulators, which basically just do different things within my body to help with my CF symptoms. Awesome. So you were involved in, in a research or clinical trials for this new drug? I was briefly, yes, in the fall of 2019. And why don't you tell us how that was involved? Here at Vitalograph, we, you know, not only manufacture spirometers, but we do a lot of clinical trials with a lot of pharmaceutical companies, and we manage this data and uh, provide equipment for it. So why don't you tell our audience how you were involved in that treatment? So basically, I was just there to be tested on with the medication and see how it would possibly affect my body and my health. Sadly, I wasn't able to continue the trial just because my liver enzyme levels got too high at one point, and so I had to stop. But during the trial, like my experience, it was really good, and it I think it had good results possibly, and I was allowed to give them some information from just my brief time. Yeah, I would imagine. So everything is helpful, uh, even when it's an unintended side effect or an outcome, like it, it sounds like that that you experienced, you know, the more information we have going in, the safer the efficacy of the drug moving forward. Was there anything in particular, uh, you know, while you were taking Trikafta that you should avoid? Was there, you know, alcohol or, or other types of things that, you know, could be contraindicated? I've never been told anything specific other than while you are taking Trikafta, Especially with your first two medications in the morning, you are supposed to take those with a high dose of fats and like carbs because that's how the medication is able to absorb into your body. I see. And when there were other medications involved, what what were those? Do you mean like within like my own medication schedule or just the time? You said you had two others that you took in the morning. I was curious if if they caused interaction or or were required in in order to take uh, Trikafta. What I mean is Trikafta, there's a two medications you take in the morning and then one dose at night. So basically two pills in the morning, one pill at night. And that was just what I meant by that. <laughs> oh, okay. The dosing schedule. I get you. Okay. I understand exactly what you mean now. You mentioned that, did you experience any type of other side effects when you were taking this drug? I have not. I've done really well, I will say, on Trikafta. My doctors and all my nurses, my CF team, they're really, really impressed with how well I've done on it. I mean, I had a 30% increase in my lung function within three months of being on the medication. 
Wow, that's incredible. The, the, that sort of change is almost radical for, for your particular condition. Did, did you test routinely on spirometry or, or some other uh, you know, uh, type of uh, scale to establish that? Yes, I would. Every three months, I have a pulmonary checkup and we test on using a spirometer to check up on my lung function and how we're doing and everything. So, yeah. Excellent. Well, what does your physician say about, you know, how, how you've improved after taking the drug uh, and has it more importantly reduced hospital visits or exacerbations that, that could lead to ER visits? Oh, he's very, very happy with the outcome. I actually have been able to decrease treatments and get off some of my medications as well. I no longer have to do hypercell inhaled treatments. I no longer have to do a percussion vest morning and night. I've been able to decrease a lot in my treatment schedule, which is really great considering <laughs> going to college and starting my adult life. It's been really nice. I bet. So the, the drug has really given you a new outlook on life. I mean, it, it seems to be, since you said you were six weeks old, uh, it kind of imprisoned you, so to speak. And now that you're becoming an adult, going to college, being more active, tell our audience uh, what you couldn't do in the past and, and what you're doing now that you've seen such an improvement on this drug. Yes, Trikafta has truly given me so many more opportunities than I've ever been able to and I ever could have imagined, truly. Before Trikafta, my lung function was at 32%. And usually when you get down in the 20 range, it's typically when your doctors are starting to think about lung transplants. So as a freshman in high school at 32%, it's scary. And then when you get this amazing medication that completely changes your life and takes you to 60%, it's insane. I mean, I never thought that I could possibly get married, have a career, have kids, and now all of these opportunities are out there for me. I mean, it's it's so awesome. I'm so happy, truly. So were you put on a lung transplant list when you, you know, you dropped down in high school? I was never put on the list, but me and my doctors had conversations about it, yes. Yeah, that's pretty scary. So, well, that's wonderful. So, uh, you know, in your day-to-day -day life, what have you, tell us, you know, what's some of the things you're, you've you been doing that you haven't been done before because of this increase? I mean, you know, are you exercising or, you know, what, 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 what other activities have you been doing? Oh, yes. So, funny, actually, when I was younger, of course, exercise was really hard because, I would, I mean, walk up the stairs and be breathing really hard. And now I can go do things with my friends and work out with them and exercise. And I feel completely normal. It's, it's awesome. That's great. That's great. So you just started your first year at Washburn. Is that right? Yes. Wonderful. And uh, when you were in high school and you, you had a, you know, 30% less lung capacity, and now to college, do you notice an improvement in, you know, basically your studying, your activity? I mean, does, has it helped on your sleep? Tell us a little bit more about that. It has helped a lot, especially with energy. I mean, I used to be tired all the time. When I was younger, I looked as though I was sick all the time. I had dark circles, pale skin. I could never maintain weight. I truly did look like I was ill. <laughs> and people sit, tell me now, they say, Annika, you look like a normal person. I mean, <laughs> you look like your average 19 year old girl. That's funny. So that, it's awesome. It's great. <laughs> no, that is, that is fantastic. And of course, I, I, I can't see you on a, on a podcast, but uh, I have to say like you, you have a remarkable character about you. You seem so, so full of life and, and happy. And I know that that must have been kind of challenging you know, having had a, a diagnosis with of cystic fibrosis for your entire life, but were there ever times where you kind of lost hope that something like this might come along, like like trichafta? Oh yes, for sure. Especially when I dropped in uh, 2019, when I got really bad, um, I definitely had a lot of fear that was overwhelming me. I and yeah. of course, my parents have always been 
an amazing support system. They've always told me, like, Annika, there are so many people working out there in the medical field working to help you, like, have hope. It's going to be okay. Like, I promise. Even when it was hard to hear that, just because of all the stress and knowing that I had a shorter life, Trikafta came out and it just changed everything. That's tremendous. So what, what's the outlook? Uh, what is your doctor saying? I mean, you're going to continue to take this drug. Is there a possibility of more improvement or what do they say in the foreseeable future? They aren't too sure. With just how it's been affecting myself and others with CF, they think that it should be a pretty steady outcome. Like we should see just like steady incline possibly or about the same like lung function wise and symptom wise. They definitely have a lot of hope considering our life expectancy used to fall around 37. Now they're seeing patients that are living to 70s. So that's tremendous. Gosh, I was going to say that that's really incredible that they've been able to kind of stretch it to that point. And and the best part is, of course, you know, with with each passing year and the improvement that, that you've seen, who knows what the future holds, right? Uh, there could be other breakthroughs around the corner. Very true, very true. Annika, it's been a pleasure having you on our podcast. Is there anything else you could tell our audience uh, at most uh, healthcare professionals of what they should know of what you experienced with this uh, new drug? All I can say is that I am incredibly thankful for Trikafta. It's completely changed my life and so many others like myself. And I hope for more breakthroughs in the future. Absolutely. This is probably one of the most major breakthrough drugs for cystic fibrosis that we've seen in in quite a while. Yes, for sure. Well, Annika, we really appreciate you sharing your experience and what you've been going through through your life. Uh, We appreciate you being on our podcast. Thank you so much for having me. You've reached the end of another episode of the Exhale podcast. Don't forget to follow us for upcoming new episodes and please take a survey to help provide good content for the future. Thank you for listening and we look forward to you joining us again on the Exhale podcast brought to you by Vitalograph.